I am Illustrator named Casper and I use DaVinci Resolve to edit my YouTube videos in. In this tutorial, I'll take you through how I edit a video from start to finish. And bear in mind, I am by no means a tech guy, so everyone can be in on this one. I presume that when you watch this guide, you have already installed DaVinci Resolve. I'll make sure to put a download link in the description below. Let's begin. To be able to edit something, we need some material, some footage and or some sound. I happen to have some material to edit on this camera, as well as some sound I've recorded on this microphone. I transfer the material to my computer. It can be a good idea to name your files, as this will make it easier to navigate once we go into DaVinci Resolve. I name this file Intro, and then move it through a folder on my computer so that I can edit my film using the computer storage and not the camera's storage card. I do the same thing with my audio that I've recorded with my microphone. I name them voice over 1, 2, 3 and intro 1 and intro 2 so I know roughly where to put them. When editing, it is key to be organized. I move them to my folder on my computer as well. I also have some overhead footage shot with my iPhone. I'll be using that as well. So I transfer it and again, organize, organize, organize. I will call it painting one and painting two and then move it to my folder. Now, get comfortable with a cup of coffee or tea. Who said editing shouldn't be a cozy thing? Starting a new project. Having all your footage and or sound imported, we open DaVinci Resolve. Here you can see some of the video projects that I've done in the past. We want to make a new project, so we hit new project. I'll name it Watercolor Birthday Card. Importing files. As you can tell, it says no clips in media pool because we have not yet added anything. We will do that now. So we hit File, Import, we find our folder and our well-organized files. And we hit don't change frame rate. So now we have a pool of media, hooray! Dragging media to your timeline. Down below you see a selection of little symbols. Right now I am in cut mode, but the mode that I really prefer to work in is edit mode the symbol with blue and green bars. Once we hit that, a timeline becomes visible. I can now drag material from my media pool down to the timeline. So I select intro one, drag it down and voila. We see that both video and audio automatically places itself on my timeline. Let's try and play it back by hitting space bar. Hi and welcome to the channel. I have just created a birthday card for a friend, which is of a trout. We have now begun editing. Easy as that. The snap tool. Now a tool I always use is to have the snap tool on. If I drag a second clip down to my timeline, you see that it snaps automatically to my intro clip. You do that by simply having checked the snapping tool, which is symbolized as a magnet here. The shortcut key is N. Rotating iPhone footage. Now the footage that I just dragged down is shot with my smartphone and we see a problem. The format does not fit and it's rotated. To fix that, we simply hit the tab called Inspector in the right corner. And then we simply rotate 90,000 points or 90 degrees. Then we zoom in so the footage fits the screen. Easy. Cutting parts out. Unless you're a robot, you will make mistakes once in a while, 
or have clips that you want to edit out. For instance, I'd really like to edit this part out. <coughs> What we do is hit blade down here. The shortcut key is B for blade. To find out where you want to make the cut, it helps to zoom in a bit. Hello guys, I'm The red line indicates where you are positioned on your timeline. With your cursor, you hit at the desired place where you want to make the cut. I then hit selection mode, the shortcut key is A. I mark the part that I want to cut out and hit delete. Synchronizing audio. This part is for you who's recorded with a microphone and wants to sync that with the audio from, say, your camera. Okay, so here is my watercolor paper. This is the sound from the built-in microphone in my smartphone. But I have also recorded with my external microphone where the sound is better. I have it here in my media pool a WAV file, which I drag and place down here below on Audio Track 2. Now the only thing I have to do now is to sync the audio. Here the white audio waves are really helpful. I align the two tracks carefully. Okay, so here is my watercolor paper, which I'll be using as the card. And then I can mark the audio track from my iPhone. I lock the video track. And then I hit delete. So now I have the crisp sound from my microphone perfectly synced with my footage. Adding music. Music adds a nice touch to your videos. The steps are the same as we just did. Hit file, import, select the track of what you have on your computer it will appear in your media pool. To give ourselves some room for the music, we add an additional audio track by right-clicking down here at the tracks. We hit Add Track, Stereo, So now we have the third audio track. You can do the exact same with the video track. Then we can drag down the track. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I have just created a birthday card for a friend. Right now the music is a bit too loud. If you hover over the audio track with the cursor, you see these white arrows. If you click, you can drag down or up the sound level. I will drag it to minus 20. Let's hear it now. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I have just created a birthday card for a friend, which is of a trout. He really likes to. The last thing I do before exporting my video is adding titles. Let me show you the most basic way. So right next to media pool, we have effects. Go to toolbox. Generators. We select solid color and drag it to our timeline. Black is a standard color, but I like colors, so I will go to my inspector tab and change it into a rosa color. Let's add some text. Right above generators, we have titles. Here we have an array of options. I select basic title and drag it, very important, on a video track above the track with the solid color, as we work in layers here. As you can tell, in the right side we have all kinds of formatting options. I'll start by giving a new title, and then I can mark it and change the font. All we need to do now is to have all our pieces gathered into one beautiful video file, a process also called rendering. Rendering slash exporting. First, I mark all my elements and make sure that they are placed at the beginning of my timeline, just to make things easier. Then, an important thing, we drag the red line of the timeline to the very beginning of the timeline. 
Then over here, we hit Mark In. This tells DaVinci Resolve exactly from where the video starts. We also need to tell it where the video ends, so this time we either drag the red line or simply select the point of the timeline where I can tell my final part is and hit Mark Out. So, we have reached the final and easiest part of the whole editing process. Down here in the right corner, we have a little rocket symbol. It says deliver. We hit that. We see a bunch of things going on now. The only thing that I touch is writing a title. Changing location for where I want to have the video exported by hitting browse. I always export to desktop. It's just a habit. I hit add to render queue and whoopsie. We see the video came up in the render queue up here. I hit render all. And then we wait. DaVinci Resolve easy to use and has about the same features that are in Adobe Premiere Pro, only it's free. What's not to like? Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I have just created a birthday card for a friend, which is of a trout, he really likes to fish, and I've used a... Thank you.